Antonio Carlos Jr. and Vinny Magalhães. Kenny Florian, you know what? Randy and I might just leave and let you call <laughs> this one by yourself. My name is Kenny Florian, and I'm addicted to grappling. I, uh, I, I love this fight. I hope both these guys uh, find a way to take it to the ground. Both these guys are, are very active on the ground. We're always looking for submissions. Here we go. It's time to welcome these fighters to their respective fight. Introducing first, Vinny Magalhães. Vinny Magalhães, runner-up in season one of PFL action. Looking to get back on track. He, he got a, a late replacement call against Jordan Young in the first regular season bout. He wasn't in the gym, he was way overweight. He cut so close. Actually put himself in a pretty compromising position to try and get down yeah. the weight. Almost got there. Well now, he's got minus one point in the standings, but he thinks he can make that up because while well, we've seen it plenty of times before, he's a first round finisher. Absolutely, he's, he's had a full camp, got his weight under control. It wasn't that he wasn't training before the first one, he was getting ready for a big grappling matchup. Okay. And so his weight was way up, he, he admits now that it was clear up at 258 wow. to come all the way down and try and make weight at 205. I mean, that is crazy. So glad to see him in much better shape now. I'm glad to see him get out of the four days he had to spend in the hospital recovering from cutting all of that weight. He looks to be in great shape, great form here, facing another amazing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. And his opponent, Antonio Carlos Jr. And there is Shoe Face. Already locked up a playoff spot because of his first round finish over Tom Lawler. He's a favorite in this bout, a heavy betting favorite, actually. And he thinks, you know what? This might actually be a mixed martial arts fight. I hope the jujitsu play happens, but he feels like he's got an advantage everywhere. Yeah, that's right. And, and again, he's been working very hard on his wrestling. He'll probably use that defensively. He does not want to be on his back against Vinny. Uh, and as far as his striking, he wants to keep this uh, on the outside. He wants to keep Vinny on the outside, use those long range weapons. He has excellent kicks and he puts together some sweet combinations. We'll take a look at our tail of the tape in this light heavyweight affair presented by Geico. Vinny Magalhães, 36 years old, five years the senior. He's an inch taller, a pound lighter, and he experiences a four inch disadvantage in the arm reach, but he's got longer legs. Lillian Garcia starts him off. Fight fans, this is your featured bout on ESPN Plus, and it is in the light heavyweight division. This fight is presented to you by Geico. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a jiu-jitsu practitioner. Standing at 6'3", he officially weighs in at 204 pounds. In 32 professional fights, this veteran has a record of 19 victories, 12 losses, and one no contest with 15 wins by submission. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, here is Vinny Passau Magalhães. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He is also a jiu-jitsu practitioner. Standing at 6'2", he officially weighs in at 205 pounds. In 17 professional fights, he has a record of 11 wins, five losses, and one no contest with nine victories by submission. Fighting out of John Pazal, Brazil, here is shoe face Antonio Carlos Jr. Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson will oversee the action in our feature ESPN Plus bout between Vinny Magalhães in the black and gray, Antonio Carlos Jr. in the gold and black. Two high-level jujitsu black ready? belts. Sir, are you ready? Fight! Will it play out or will it cancel itself out, the jujitsu skill? Touch of the gloves and we are underway. Leg kick from Vinny. And a body kick. Another leg kick from Vinny. Nice jab from Shoe Face. Yeah, Shoe Face is trying to set up that big right hand. Yeah. 
Vinny does not appear to be concerned with getting taken down with all of these naked kicks here. Right hand glances off the guard for Antonio Carlos Jr. Nice combination finishes at the body for Antonio Carlos Jr. Yeah, Shufei's doing a good job of mixing things up there, going high, going low, using his legs, using his hands. Another leg kick from Vinny Magalesh. Tries the front kick to the face. Right hand sneaks around the guard for Shufei. Striking looking on point so far. Body kick and a jab from Shoeface, mixing up the combinations. Vinny has yet to let his hands go. It's been all kicks. And Vinny's starting to, to bite on those feints from Shoeface as well. There's a heavy leg kick from Vinny. And another. Yeah, that was nice. That'll help to slow him down. And now Vinny unloads with a combination as they clinch. Vinny Magalhães presses Shoeface against the cage. Double unders here for Vinny. Excuse me, over under here for Vinny. Now we've seen here inside the PFL Smart Cage, Brandy, when Vinny gets to this position, in the past he's pulled guard. I don't think he's going to do that yeah. against somebody like Antonio Carlos Jr. Though. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't expect him to jump the guard here. We've seen him try flying triangles. We've seen a lot of that very dynamic jujitsu stuff, but I don't expect him to try and pull any of that out. Knee to the cup oh. there. Keith Peterson catches it. Sends Antonio Carlos Jr. to a neutral corner, and Vinny will get up to five minutes to recover from the inadvertent groin strike. Oh, yeah, right up the middle. No debate on that one. <laughs> Vinny will take his time. Two minutes and 15 seconds remaining here in round number one. And Vinny Magalhães is in that scenario because he missed weight for his first regular season bout where a first or second round finish puts him in the best situation to potentially get into the playoffs. What's that? Doesn't clinch him a spot, but, but he'll have to sit back and wait and see how the rest of these fights in this division unwind for sure. I think Vinny or, or the ref Keith Peterson asked for the doctor to come in. And he's definitely still feeling it. And that's unusual in, in my experience to see a guy still down, still in significant pain from a cup check. Yeah. Now that I understand, it does make you feel pretty nauseous yeah. to, to get a direct shot. Get five minutes to recover here. It was an inadvertent strike. So there won't be any penalty for Antonio Carlos Jr. Again, it's one of those things where you're in the clinch, you're trying to beat up the stomach, trying to attack the body, and went a little low there. And Vinny is still on his knees. Keep checking in on Vinny Magalhães here as he takes 
his time which is something quite frankly you don't see a lot of fighters take the full five minutes so uh, not an unwise choice. There's our main event one half of our main event Roy the Red King McDonald arriving at the Ovation Hall here Ocean Casino Resort in Atlantic City New Jersey. And this isn't a good sign. You know, typically when you see fighters starting to recover, they, they get back on their feet, they walk around, they Shake try to out. walk it yeah. off. But he hasn't even attempted to get back to his feet. And again, if the five minutes is over, this will be a, a no contest, right? Every commission has different rules on the, the amount of time that must have passed before you can go to judges' scorecards and things like that. But it, the, the farm the most likely scenario is if any Magalhães cannot continue it will be a no contest due to an inadvertent groin strike. This is not a situation where Keith Peterson has taken points away from Antonio Carlos Jr. Right. This is not a DQ situation. This is if anything a no contest but we hope that Vinny Magalhães can get back to his feet and continue. Under PFL rules if it's a no contest that's one point apiece which would put Antonio Carlos Jr.'s total at seven and put Vinny Magalhães back to even at zero after the penalty for not making weight in his first fight. In New Jersey they have to get through the second round before they can go to the scorecards. So it will definitely be a no contest if Vinny cannot continue. And there that's it is it. Keith Peterson waves it off. Vinny Magalhães cannot continue after the inadvertent groin strike. A no contest in the books. One point apiece. Unfortunately, we do not get to see the grappling skill on display of Vinny Magalhães or Antonio Carlos Jr. That means Corey Hendricks is still alive after he knocked out his friend, not literally knocked him out, but knocked his friend Tom Lawler out of the standings in the playoffs. <laughs> not very friendly right now is Tom Lawler, but uh, they're having a good time with it. Unfortunate situation here. Due to the, gro the groin strike, a no contest, a no decision, a no result. Heavyweight standings. Well, Antonio Carlos Jr. had already clinched his spot. He's now got seven points. That will potentially play out in the way the playoffs are seeded, of course. Cesar Mutanche Ferreira, he's still up on ESPN2. Martin Hamlet, five points. He's now one and one after the loss to Corey Hendricks, who's right behind him. A third round submission victory, good enough for Corey Hendricks' four points. And right now, the fourth spot in the playoff stand. That's it, light heavyweight. What about welterweight? Joao Zeferino, the Brazilian samurai, currently in first place. Rory McDonald and Ray Cooper still to come on ESPN2 tonight. Rory has already locked up his spot. Ray Cooper the third will face a tough Russian and Nikolai Alexakhin, and that will help determine whether or not the 2019 champion has a chance to repeat. Magomed Magomed Karimov, well, he won it all in 2018. He wants another trip back to the playoffs and a million dollar championship. That man right there, the Hawaiian knockout king, still to come tonight. You're going to want to stay here on ESPN2 for it. We'll, we'll be back in a second. Welcome back. 
to Atlantic City Ocean Casino Resort. Sean O'Connell, Randy Couture, Kenny Florian, and if you are just joining us, an unfortunate turn of events in our feature bout here on ESPN Plus. Antonio Carlos Jr. and Vinny Magalhaes in the first round, an inadvertent knee to the groin from shoe face to Vinny ends this fight. Lillian Garcia has the official call. Ladies and gentlemen, due to an accidental foul at two minutes and 45 seconds of round number one, this bout has been ruled a no contest. Therefore, each fighter earns one point in the light heavyweight division.